Howling wind, huge hail, and flying debris. 90 mile per hour wind gusts. 15 tornadoes, and this most tornadoes to occur on an August day. Guys, it's the tomato. The tomato is a fruit, like a pear, pineapple, or kumquat. It's been here since pre-Columbian times, which means no one really knows how long it's been here. That's before Columbus ran his boat into this part of the world. So no one really knows how long the tomato has been around. And it comes in a variety of colors, black, yellow, and various. Today's modern tomato is made into sauce, paste, ketchup, salsa, candy, juice, raw, cooked, and many other applications. All right, back to the cook. <laughs> we gotta be careful though because there is poison ivy around here. on fire combined with egg style so our first step is to have a little paper that's to start the fire I put it on the bottom and I brought some wood with us but in order to break that wood down wait I, I smell exactly what I need So that's the first step. We're gonna cook right on the coals, which means that this fire actually has to go down a little bit. Okay, so we got some coals. Cast iron right on top of the butter. So the butter's already starting to brown a little bit, which is great. Um, I brought two eggs. I'm gonna pop that. Put the tomato right in with it. This will give it a little bit of a nice roast on there. Tomato. And now I'm going to just do some slices. Tomato. Would be a perfect breakfast like camping we cooked a couple eggs sunny side up on the fire um i like uh cooking on a fire just because the outdoors element is i'm a huge fan of that but also the smoke affects the flavor of the food in a positive way so if you ever get a chance to cook outdoors by all means try it it's amazing next week i'm combined with eggs lamb's quarter
Whatever you do, always take your uh, garbage with you so that you leave the place cleaner than you uh, found it. As you saw earlier, I picked up this, somebody's trash, it was a Mountain Dew bottle. I filled it up with a little bit of lake water. I'm just about to put out the fire. Never leave a fire unattended. I smell exactly what I need. <laughs>